All right, social media family. Uh, this is Carlin Phillips back. I got the special guest again, <clears throat> Shartavia Phillips. Uh, how was everything? <laughs> All things they can hear you on the on the camera. Stop. <laughs> All right, right, but. Uh, all is well, and we know that everything is working out for good to them that love God, to them with the kind of conscious purpose. Uh, hope everybody had a blessed week, and um, just hold on and just go to God. Hold on. So, what the Lord been telling you lately, Miss uh, Shartavia? To stop pausing some situations and let Him play it. Mm. So stop pausing and just go on ahead and play. Just let him have his way. So, yeah. you know, like, how would that go by? Like, we often, we tend to just go with the flow, mm -hmm. which means to fast forward everything. Go mm -hmm. with the flow instead of we face a situation and actually go through the situation and actually cry because we're hurting or to actually be stuck because we don't know what to do instead we try to mute ourselves from society and we try to pause ourselves from society and we try to stop ourselves but god wanted to press play when we muted ourselves from society he want to turn you up mm. he want to turn you up because he wants you to actually go through what you supposed to have went through because if you don't go through what you supposed to have went through it's going to continue to pile up and it's going to build up and you're going to go through it now. Mm. So in certain situations, when there's an anchor pulling you down, it is okay to be down. It is okay to weep. It is okay to hurt. Mm. It's okay. It's okay because everything that you go through, you learn from it. Mm. And he's going to bring you out of it. But if you allow him to just press play when you stopped it, then that that's when you will be able to go through certain things. Like sometimes you will be in a situation and it's like you will be so close with getting out of it. But then it's just you stop it and then you just go ahead and press fast forward mm -hmm. because the society is on the lookout. But God hand is like right there. And it's like I'm using myself for an example because I'm a victim to it. Everything in my life is not peaches and cream. Everything that I go through is not peaches and cream. So sometimes when I'm in the situation, I try to fast forward it and God hand is just right there. And it's like, come on, Tay, just lean forward, touch my hand, just grab the tip of my hand and I got you. He just want to feel that tip. But except I'm, I'm sitting up here and I don't want to go through it and I'm not crying and I'm not facing certain situations. So my hand, his hand is going to forever stay in that same position. My hand is the one that's going up and up and up and further away from his. And it's like, you almost had it. Mm. And then you start all over. You start all over and it's like, I don't know what to do. Mm. I don't know, like, where does this lead me? Where does this lead me now? But all you had to do was just... Let God rewind you a little bit and start you over. Mm. Like sometimes when when we press stop and when we want to fast forward, He want to put you in a in a situation to where like you you like if you in a closed in spot, like you cross the phobic like a box. Mm. Like it's okay to be stuck. It is okay to be stuck. That's where He want us, so we can actually feel how to go through some stuff. Because once we just fast forward stuff. Honestly, we don't actually go through it. Mm -hmm. We don't actually experience it. Mm -hmm. Because when it happened, it just happened and we just go with the flow with some stuff. Mm -hmm. Instead of just allowing him to intervene and allowing him to interfere in our life, we want to continue to just go with the flow because society says so. Or society puts you on this um, pedestal to where, oh, you ain't going through nothing because you're smiling. Oh, you ain't going through nothing because you 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 happy or you laughing and mm -hmm. it's like I'm actually going through I just don't know how to deal with it mm -hmm. but instead instead of just allowing God to press play on the situation and rewind you back so you can actually do the whole fulfillment of it we so focus on society 
we so focused on what people think. Mm -hmm. We so focused on how am I going to get through this instead of just going through it. Everything after the storm, while going through that storm, everything is not cute. While going through that hurricane, everything is not cute. You've seen how Harvey came to tell up some stuff, but guess what? You had help. Hmm. After that, you had the help. Blessing and that's storm. God, exactly. That's God that's trying to give you your help that you need, that, that extra push. And you're not allowing him. So that's why you are stagnant. That's why it's so easy for the devil to come into your life and take you off course. Mm. That's why it's so easy for the devil to come in your life and make you put a stop on things and actually make you fast forward things. When God is here, God has never left you. But God is here and he's saying, just give me a chance. Mm. All he's looking for is a chance. But you, you're so gullible and you're so stagnant to where if the devil say jump, you ask him, ha ha. Mm. And God is right here. It's like, why don't you move like that for me? Mm. When I when I've been here for you this whole while, I've been here for you this whole while. But yet you don't want me to press play. You don't want me to rewind you and start over because you feel like that you're too old to start over. Mm -hmm. You ain't never too old to get it. Mm -hmm. You ain't never too old to get it. No matter how long it take you, as long as you get it, mm -hmm. you will be okay. Hmm. Allow God to start you over from the beginning with that situation that you muted. Hmm. Allow Him to take control. That's great. That's great. And uh, you just went over like a lot of areas. It's like I don't know which one to, to to pick and grab from. But like one thing you know that you had said that I had took notice from is that you know we don't know how to deal with problems. You know we just go over them and just look over them like, you know, you know, like we don't know how to deal with it. And, and, and like what I look at it and like how I look at it, you know, like some men, you know, I'm a used man for the situation. Mm -hmm. You know how some men, they, they deal with problems, you know, by, you know, they, they deal with problems in the flesh. You know, mm -hmm. we, we, we have hobbies to look forward to. We got, uh, we got hobbies, we got sports to look to. We got, uh, Thinking, you know, like a, having like a lot of women is going to take care of the problem, drinking. you know, things yeah, of the flesh, yeah. drinking, uh, stuff like that. But it's not actually taking care of the problem. It's actually numbing it. Yeah. And, you know, and, and you know, like that's what it is. And she said, you know, that it's never too, I mean, like you're never too, you know, old to, old get, it. to get it because faith has no time limit. You know, now faith is a substance. So, you know, now is the time to get it, you know, as, a, you know, like as, as some say that you can't teach a teach a, a old dog new tricks, but I don't believe in that. If you if your faith say I can get up right now, that I can get up and start you can over, do it. you know, then you can do it. So you know, just like Sarah, you know, in the word of the Lord in the Old Testament, there was a woman named Sarah who had a baby at, a, at an old age. So you can give birth at an old age, no matter how you wish. You can stop doing whatever you can doing at any age. It doesn't matter. This is just according to your faith only. Glory to God. So. You know, it's it's just all up to us. And, you know, she was saying pressing pause, you know, while God is just wanting to play. You know, at that time, if we push and pause, then we just wasting our time, you know. I'm ready. Listen, I'm ready for the saints of God, for anybody out there to grab hope to to something new. You know, just I just don't want to see the regular norm. Let's just let's let's just grab hold onto something that we can tap into. You know, so, so that can make us grow. So, you know, so that can make us be leaders to our children. You know, that can make us be leaders inside our, inside of our community. So it's just all just according to our faith. It's just time to press start, stop pressing pause. You know, I remember, uh, and I, and I think of it, you know, like, you know, uh, like as me being a child, you know, for the word of the law say that until you be a child, you should not, in, in, you should not inherit it, you know, the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. So you have to be a child. And I remember when I was little, you know, my mother used to help me get dressed, right? She used to help me get dressed when I was little, just like everybody else mama used to do. And that's how it is in the spirit. We think that we can get dressed alone, but you cannot get dressed alone. There's a devil out there that you cannot defeat alone. Yeah. The devils don't play nice. Yeah. Every Listen, if you watch the animal planet, all the wolves or all the dogs, they, they hunt in packs. You never see them alone. So why you are being a child, trying to get dressed alone for the word of the Lord, say for Satan not to sell, 
you know, uh, the assembly for the saints. So you can't do this alone. You need a team. Listen, sheep don't roll alone. You need a team. So that's how I took it as, you know, uh, people say, well, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. You can't get ready alone. You're a child. We're a child in the spirit. You know, I'm almost like we was just so quick to say, I'm grown. I'm grown. I can't wait till I get grown. No. Stay a child. You a child. I'm still a child of the Lord. And I know that I need help sometimes. Glory to God. We all need help. And so, sometimes we can just look for help inside of different things. But today is the day that the Lord has made. I'm looking for something different in, in myself every day inside of Tay, inside of the saints of God. Just know that, you know, I want the Lord to take me around the same mountain until I get it. Yes, until I get it. Until I get it. I don't just want to fast forward. I just want to go through it and, and hop over stuff, you know, that I'm, I'm, you know, that I know that I'm not ready for. Lord God, take me around that same old mountain until I get it. For the word of the Lord says that, uh, uh, that the children of Israel, God took them around the same old mountain. So they were just wandering, going back and forth. Traveling around the same mountain, not even knowing that they're going in circles, mm -hmm. not even knowing that they're going in cycles. Their life is not going up or progressing, but it's just stagnant. Stagnant. It ain't going nowhere. So, saints of God, I hope y'all grasp them for this. I'm really ready for some some people to press play because, as I say it every time, you know, just like I just said, the window of grace is. Closing, closing, closing. And you may not think, you know, that it's not going to affect you, but it's going to affect you because that's all you're depending on. It's all you're depending on. So as the word of the Lord says that the just shall live by faith. You cannot live by grace. Grace runs out. Grace is a period of time, but it don't last always. Glory to God. Uh, Every time, you know, when the Lord says, hey, I'm ready for you to come in. I'm ready for you to come in, but you're still in the bedroom saying, I'm I'm still getting dressed. Yeah. Okay, an hour will go by. I'm, I'm still getting dressed. <laughs> okay, a whole day go by. Lord, I'm still getting dressed. Then a whole year go by. Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm still getting dressed. I need some more time. Okay, five years go by. Lord, I still need some more time. Okay, ten years go by. Lord, I still need some more time. Okay, and you like, my goodness, when you gonna finally get your life together? <laughs> nah, okay, I'm just joking, yeah. That's <laughs> true. But you know, you know the Lord is good and he will give you enough grace. But you see, we are in a time right now when faith it is ain't enough. It's, it's it's time to do something now. So we just wanna say thank you guys for you know for this video. Hope it wasn't too long. Sorry about that, y'all, but uh know that grace it's sufficient, and it is, and it and it is exactly what you need. So, as I end every video, grace be unto you all. How you end every video? Good night. <laughs> you gotta be blessed in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Amen.